is a melodic death formation from Spain. I didn't really know much about this band, um, but actually they already have three albums out. Their latest got out recently, so it was about time for me to get to know them. Now it's time for you. Enjoy the interview. I first want to congratulate you with the upcoming release of Echoes of the Future. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the creation of this release? Okay. Proceed, proceed. <laughs> now the creation, uh, like always, uh, we've been like I don't know from the beginning, uh, from the from the beginning of the of the process. Uh, Raúl was yeah. writing songs about for uh, Mia and Danny, the singer. We we began uh, writing songs uh, here. How many times? Like we, six six months making demos. Like yeah. usually, a lot of time. Uh, Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if they were like 20, 20 different songs to choose from from the beginning. So we had a lot of different things to choose from. We have uh, songs that have more in common with the last album. And we had some other songs that we thought that were a bit different. So we tried to have that different vibe but without abandoning the the sound we have in the second a bit tedious sometimes because making demos is sometimes is spending like a uh, like full week uh, recording riffs and trying things and hmm. um, that song just uh, ends in a <laughs> in a, I don't know in a not in a thrash but in a in a lost folder yes. in the, <laughs> In the computer, we have some some songs in, in some folders in the computer. Maybe it's on time. Hmm. Hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about um, the story that is behind the album? The story of the lyrics, no? About the about the lyrics or about the album? Yeah, but the about the album in common. I mean, about mm. the concept of the, the album. Mm. So this this album is like the the third part we try to make. It, it sounds a, a bit pretentious sometimes when we speak about it, but uh, in the beginning the, that was the idea. We in the beginning uh, the, this there was this 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 first album. In this first album, uh, I was not a part of the band, but I helped in the in the process of recording. And in the beginning, this album was not enough to speak about the concept we have to to develop. Uh, so we we start to think, and no, we are going to record uh, a trilogy. We we'll start we are going to start with this first album. If everything goes fine, we'll have the opportunity to record a second one. So in this third one, we had we have a more. Um, I don't know how to how to put it in works, but we 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 were uh, trying to close the circle mm -hmm. to make full circle, and it was a bit uh, bit difficult because we we were uh, thinking in in different things to end the 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 album because we had sure the the main concepts but not the lyrics we 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 weren't sure about the lyrics and about some of the concept on and some of the things about the music. Yeah. We decided to to make the album. The first album is, is talking about the past, okay, and about the nature is the witness of the of what the human race is doing yeah, to the to the earth. The second one is about the the negation is about the the people that deny the things we are doing now in the present. And the third one is about the, the future. We have a mes message from the future uh, uh, telling us we have to change any, anything because if not, we are going to a dark uh, future. Mm -hmm. That is uh, speaking like about, that. about the lyrics and about the concept, but musically, I think the, the album has this third album has evolved from the from the first uh, sound that the band had in the in the first album. First album was more direct, more um, I don't know, maybe more metal oriented, and this one is more this metal is more extreme. But we 
we try to be in touch with those two streams, the progressive and the melodic part of our music, and the extreme part that sometimes roots with with our preference in music. Our we are fans of bands, and, and we we are re really proud of be fans of bands like the Dissection, as we are fans of other bands like Amorphis or Open. The nineties, the first wave of that kind of style. The melodic death metal, black and death metal, melodic black metal, th that kind of music in the beginning when everything uh, began. That's why we sound like this. Mm. Um, um, if you look at the previous ones and the last one, how, how do you think that the fans from the beginning look at the album that you release now? Hmm. Good question. That's a really good question. I don't know. Maybe maybe we we have been like. ¿Cuánto tiempo llevamos uh, como banda? Uh, from since uh, 2016. 16. I, 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 I think the first album yeah. was in in 18. But, yeah, but the, the band started in 2016. 2016. So we've been like uh, seven or eight years. Um, so I don't know if <laughs> if I can put in if, if if I can put myself in that moment or Raúl can put himself in that moment because um, a lot of things happen around us and uh, and even in the band in the with different band members um, I don't know it's difficult but if I have to uh, think about the how I feel today about that album or or how how different is one album uh, with, with the other. I think we have developed a really good relation relationship between the, the different band members. So nowadays we trust each other more in the things we have to do. Raul always has been in charge of, of writing with, with Daniel. But uh, in this album, we had more freedom to contribute uh, in our parts with ideas with with the concept with the art with the even the the studios where uh, in in which we have recorded so i think we are more band than in the in the beginning in the beginning we were like friends but we 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 knew each other but nowadays after eight years uh, we are more than that we are uh, like family so we have experience together touring together um, a lot of problems to solve because releasing music nowadays is yeah. oh, it's quite difficult. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. Um, if you look at the most recently you released a video for the title track, uh, Echoes of the Future, can you tell me a little bit about this track? About the, about the no, about the video, about the video, but uh, but about the track. Or about the track mm -hmm. uh, this track is is really um, a good point to start in the um, in the story of, of the album mm -hmm. and the main concept mm -hmm. because the the full like the video the full concept of the album and in this track in particular speaks about that message of the future the messenger um, is the the girl in the cover of the album and that messengers has seen both futures. So the album uh, is around uh, two different possibilities, two different uh, elections we we have to make. So uh, in the video, we try to show those two different futures and those two different elections we have to make. Uh, one of which is bad and dark. Um, I don't know, maybe and dirty, no, <laughs> dirty <laughs> like like the makeup we we yeah. have in the video, and another one is a, a bright future like we're used to to see in the in this kind of uh, not dystopic but maybe some some Hollywood futuristic future in with in in which we are uh, good uh, we are. We are living in in our environment without making much damage. We're, that, that is the that is the thing. So in the video, we try to show 
those two futures and the band between those visions that, that we are getting from from this messenger nice okay um I really like the song uh, Dreams of Reality. Can you tell me a little bit about the, the inspiration of that? The inspiration of, of the music? <laughs> well, it's difficult because the inspiration, when, when we write, when we compose music, uh, the inspiration comes. Uh, I never think about how, uh, how I, I want to sound, too. So when when we began writing music, normally I take my guitar and I play and I and I find the melodies I I want to listen to. Okay, uh, and I like to compose uh, with a lot of changes uh, to 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 surprise people when when they are listening to the music. Mm. That's. In, at the end, I like to compose the music I would like uh, to listen to. Huh? I don't know if you understand more or less. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and about the the lyrics and the concept of the of the song, uh, this song um, is the the way the messengers um, tells the the in the story about those two futures is between dreams. So we try to have, because when, when you are dreaming, you have the sense of, of being uh, in, the, in reality. You, are, you don't have the sense of being in, uh, between dreams or in a dream. So this song, uh, the, the vibe of the song, the different, um, the different modes that Raul tried to, to, to make the changes around in the, in the song with the, with the different chords and the different part, had this this kind of um, really not a stream but really contrapose kind of uh, different vibes between the different parts of the song. So maybe this this was a good song to speak about that oh. dreamy kind of nightmare contra contraposition or juxtaposition. Well, if I look at the track list as a whole, I think the track that jumped out to me most was uh, Lords of Greed. What can you tell me about this song? About the about this song, um, I don't know. This this song is one of my favorites, and I don't know why, but it's one of the favorite of the of our fans, the people that that follow us and write in in our social networks and. Um, share with with us uh, their vision about our music and how our music has get to them. Um, I don't know why, but this this song is really uh, popular, and I, I wasn't sure about yeah. that. It is very different from yeah. from the others, no? Yeah, yeah, it's one of the of the most different song. This one, um, I think the the miracle too, no. because they are slower songs, yeah. more more slower song, but different different kind of of riffing or composition i don't know this song is is about um the the sins that humanity is is committing um that are in that path to that bad future so greed i think uh, the the biggest problem in our society uh, nowadays is that once we have something uh, we just want more and more so mm -hmm. Lords of Greed is a portrait of, of the way society and, and, and the human nature has become last, I don't know, 20 or, or 30 years, uh, last 30 years for me, or more. Yeah, or more. So this Lords <laughs> of Greed is um, sometimes, and in some of the, of the words of the lyrics of the song, and, and around the album speaks about the the, the beggar the the poor people that are are um, in a more uh, free position um, comparing to the rich people that are slaves from their own richness um, from from their own uh, wellness so I think this this song try to portray that that uh, lords of greed that people that once always more and more and more and less for the other. 
clear. Uh, Raoul, do you have a favorite song to play? Uh, yes, yes. Until now, the the song I enjoy more is the song you like more. <laughs> Qual? The Dreams or Reality. Dreams or Reality. Mm -hmm. Dreams or Reality is, uh, is because the changes when you are playing is, is funny. It's super funny when yeah. you are playing. And difficult because you have to be concentrated yeah. in that. But it, it's very good. This more <laughs> progressive uh, side of this mm. album has made us more difficult to not not to learn the 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 structure of the songs because we are used to that to that but to learn the different changes between parts that are in some kind of of uh, metric and you have to change metric between parts of the songs and you have to to learn how to do it properly to not sound too sloppy <laughs> in the rehearsal so the song has a lot of different vibes mm. for metal, then some melodic death metal, old school, and then some dis dissonance. Dissonance. Yes, dissonance. Uh, and it's, it's very, very cool to play that. It's a, it's a very melodic album, but uh, in the parts we, we try to make it dissonant and progressive. It, we uh, were in the, in the extreme of the, of the rate. So, uh, for this album, do you have already some plans to bring it live now? We are working on it, but uh, it's, it's a bit difficult because we, we need more contacts and, and maybe some, someday we are able to go out from the island um, and play some gigs. We want we are, to we are looking for. We want to do it properly oh. uh, because we have bad experiences with different uh, agencies we have been working with. So we want to do it properly. Maybe next year we have we have that. Uh, it's, it's the right time to make a, a miniature to start in in our country uh, the, because. Like we always say, we, we are from a small island, from a small country that metal is not the, the main genre. Mm -hmm. So maybe we have some more problems, but it's not impossible. We have, no. we have been playing in, in, in other countries. So we, we played in, it's in, not impossible. in Germany yeah. before the pandemic. We, we, we went to Leipzig, Leipzig, Leipzig. Leipzig. Uh, and um, that's it. It's, it's possible. It, it was a really good experience, so we want to repeat that experience. Oh. But we want to do it uh, better. We have to speak with our label uh, because the, right now we are with all the promotion of the album. So when we end with that and we spend some time with our families now in in, in Christmas, I think after that in in January, February, February. We're going to have more time to schedule some dates next year. And let's see. We, are, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, we will love it. Okay. Well, then I have only one uh, last question left. And that is, do you have a Christmas wish or some wisdom to share with the world? Uh, Christmas wishes. Um, I'm not a great believer. <laughs> Uh, started by that in, in Christmas, but, but she, she has a, a Christmas tree. But I, but I, I like the... <laughs> You're uh, now in a Christmas tree, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, but I, I for me, uh, like I was saying, uh, day by day we are we're watching uh, the news and we, we are mm -hmm. presenting a, a dark and a more dark and more dark world day by day, year by year. I don't know why, but I had that sensation. I don't know if, if it's if I'm getting old, but <laughs> but uh, it, it doesn't get better. We have war around the globe again, um, mm. and we are it's a big disaster. Yeah, we're having uh, climatic uh, emergencies that are unattended, and as an as an environmental in uh, environ oh. Environmental. <laughs> environmental. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm smarter in Spanish. As a, as, like me. <laughs> as a band like us, with this kind of message, uh, we like to, to tell the people 
to make the right choices about um, about the our planet and and about uh, the humanity and about other people because all the things we we're watching last years um, are making us uh, think that we don't have that bright future to choose from um, and we only have the the bad decisions to take so that's my my vision of that mm. yeah. I I think the same. Mm. Uh, I I want I would like to to wish a Merry Christmas to every everyone who is watching this video, and I hope they they enjoy the time with family and and that, yeah. that things. <laughs> Enjoy with apart it. from the, the dark future and the dark present. Well, we can okay. enjoy. We yeah, try yeah, to do it. to do some some good things. Yeah, sure. Well, thank you very much for your time <laughs> and your nice words. <laughs> and then thank I you, would to wish you it's a merry a Christmas. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Same to you.